I'm here to show you how you can make your own whole wheat bread start to finish in 90 minutes and it's delicious. I don't buy bread anymore. I'd rather spend my money on spatulas. I got some new ones. All right, this is a simple recipe. Let me show you how I do it. It's two cups of whole wheat flour into a big mixing bowl. Now, this is not whole wheat pastry flour, it's, it's whole wheat flour, that's what you need. A half cup of bread flour or all-purpose flour, they both work, work well. Putting in two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one of these packets of yeast. Now, I'm using uh, Rapid Rise Instant Yeast, but the regular uh, active yeast is the same. I've made this bread with both yeasts, no difference. It's one packet, which is two teaspoons or seven uh, grams of yeast. All right, so we're going to mix that up a little bit. Just combine it. Okay, and now we'll just keep going with the mixer. We're going to add one cup of milk. This is heated up milk, and um, I'm using 1% milk, but you can use whatever, uh, full fat or 2%, whatever. This is the warm milk, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to add one egg, which should be at room temperature putting an egg in there and then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil, just regular olive oil. Any kind of oil you want to use is okay. So there's the oil. Now we're going to mix this on high, beat it on high for two minutes. And by the way, if you don't have a mixer, uh, you can do this by hand or with a hand mixer. But two minutes on, on the high or medium high, It'll give it a pretty good uh, spin here. Okay, after two minutes, we're going to add just around a quarter cup of additional flour. I'm going to use additional bread flour, or like I said, all-purpose flour. We'll slow it down. There we go. And just mix it in until it starts to kind of form a, a kind of a mass. All right, now that's it for the mixing. And now we're going to transfer this to a work surface. I have a, a sort of a, a board here to work on. Flour it just a little. And now we're going to put this onto a place where we can knead it. All right, I'm using one of my new spatulas. All right, so it's going to be, you have to use something to get it off. And again, if you don't have an electric mixer, you can mix it. I don't know if a hand mixer will be strong enough. If you don't, you can try a hand mixer or um, you can mix it by hand. You'll just have to knead it longer. The whole thing about this two minutes with the mixer is it uh, reduces a lot of the kneading time. Okay, here it comes. All right, that's about what it should be like. Nice kind of a thick bit of dough. And now we're going to knead it. And I know they have these kneading paddles on this thing. They don't work for me, so I'm not doing it. And you can't make me. I'm going to do it by hand. All right. So a little bit of flour. And the thing is about the kneading, it's only 50 turns because we did it with the mixer. So 50 turns, two, three, four, five, and if you did it by hand, you'll have to knead longer, maybe 100, 150 turns. I've, I've lost my count. I think that's about 10, 11, 12. See, after like 10 or 12 uh, kneadings, look how, how, how like smooth it is already. It doesn't take much. This is like a, not even a minute of kneading, okay? I'm going to start, I'm going to stop talking and start counting. 14, 15, 16, 48, 49, 50. All right, after 50 turns, it should be kind of nice and smooth and like that. Oh, gotta spank that dough. Who's your daddy? All right, now at this point, you just leave it there and you're gonna cover it and let it rest for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna shape the dough. It's only one rise. This is just a 10 minute rest. So cover it up and I'll see you in 10. So all that's left to do now is to shape the dough. And here it is, look at that. How pretty. All right. So now you don't want to use too much flour, as little as you can get by with. And so what I'd like to do is just kind of, I used to, what I used to do is I used to like roll it with a rolling pin into like a long thing and this kind of roll it up. But it, you really, all you have to do really just kind of pat it out a little bit like that and just kind of roll it up, you know, that's it. Look at that. That's it. The bottom goes down there. You tuck in the ends. And it's ready for the pan. I'm going to use, I'm using like a standard 9x5 loaf pan, uh, but this one, the bottom, just in case you're curious, uh, is about, just about four inches across on the bottom. That's the size of pan I'm using. So now 
goes into the pan. You don't have to grease it like that. We're going to cover it, put it in a warm spot to rise for my, mine is always 35 minutes, so in about 35 minutes, you rise it until it's one inch above uh, the top. Oh, let me show you. You rise it till it's one inch above the top of the pan, no more, because it's going to really puff up in the oven. So 35 minutes in a warm spot, and we're going to bake some bread. So while your bread's rising, you'll need to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which I've done, and it's ready for the oven when it looks like this. Ta-da! It needs to be just about an inch above the rim and not too much more than that. Now, here's my ruler. I think it's about an inch above. Uh, and don't be tempted to rise it too much longer because it will puff up in the oven. So it is totally ready to go. Into your 375 oven for 30 minutes. Set your timer for 30 minutes. And then we got whole wheat bread. Now about halfway through the baking at about 15 minutes, I like to put a foil tent on the top of the loaf to keep it from getting too brown because it browns quite a bit. So I just take some foil, this, and I used to try to make a tent and shape it and it would fly all over the place. So now I find that by scrunching it like that, it holds its shape much better. So I scrunch it and then I make a tent and I'm making the tent a dull side towards the bread so that it doesn't get any extra heat. And there's my tent. See, you can kind of shape it when it's scrunched, like that. I'm just going to run in there, keep, don't let the oven stay open too long. Just going to pop the oven open and put this on the top of the bread for the final 15 minutes. Here it is. Look at this. Is that beautiful? I told you, 90 minutes start to finish. This loaf speaks for itself. What else can I say? You can do this. It's a simple recipe. You have to just remember to have all your ingredients at room temperature and you can do it. It's real easy. Uh, if you ever forget to warm up your egg, you know, sometimes I've forgotten and it's still cold, you can warm it up against your body, the body heat. You can put it in, a, in an apron or like in a pocket or wh wherever. Yeah, put it in here. It's easier if you have cleavage. Okay, just don't forget it's in there. And no surprises. What? You're getting married? Oh my God! What can you do that's exciting in 15 minutes with your clothes on? Make salmon patties. Here is all you need to make my quick and easy salmon patties. A can of salmon, a slice of whole wheat bread, some onion, red pepper, parsley, and an egg. And that's how simple it is. You are going to love this. I'm about to show you how to make quick, easy, healthy, delicious chocolate brownies. And wait till you see what's in them and what's not.